He's gone. He's not? Man, that would have been such a dope out. Oh, they just wanted to show him use his power. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Leanne. I'm some cool South African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Stargirl episode 4. Still summer school. I guess the whole season summer school. Chapter 4. Uh, the previous episode ended very surprisingly with uh with what's his name mike losing thunderbolt uh the shade showing them what a real villain does <laughs> there seems to be a bigger threat the demon that the the what, what did they call him isis or not isis icarus something like that the demon icarus was it icarus Anyway, there's a bigger threat. Now this kid is kicking into high gear in the superhero front. I'm mad excited for this episode. The budget, phenomenal. VFX, phenomenal. Cast, phenomenal. Everything, phenomenal. Let's dive right in. Starting in the prison. Oh, it's Artemis. <laughs> no football Sunday pass. <laughs> Oh yeah, Sydney wanted to recruit her, right? Hey, look at me. Damn. At least they're a loving family. Even though they villains. Why are you being so messed up to a kid, bruv? I feel like that dude is gonna die. <laughs> it clips so. It clips so. She's legit trying to parent trap her parents. Why would you Kill, keep that a secret from her. Tell her the threat. Bad things. Bad things. Then take they soul. I think it's Shade is actually trying to help y'all. Oh, they're gonna show us a clip so in Sydney's body. She came into this town mad cocky, like yo, we about to run this town. Uh, she's seeing how le low control she has of the situation. Artemis. What? Oh, it's this dude. <laughs> He's playing tricks on her. She has a heart? Who knew? I mean, she killed her own dad, if I'm not mistaken. Mother's love, I suppose. Look at that squad. The teen squad. Is Artemis gonna be mini sportsmaster Tigress? <laughs> God damn, if only Checho was in this. Oh, that would be so dope. What an awful foster mother. <laughs> Please bring her sister Checho into this. Please. <laughs> Not this season, but eventually. She got super strength? Guess this is the recruitment episode. What? They actually broke out of prison? How? Um, Is she gonna crush the apple? <laughs> she did it. Crush it. <laughs> he was holding it up for so long. <laughs> he did a test again? Yeah, she got an apology? Yeah, you a shitty teacher. <laughs> Live with that. Wait, there's tryouts in summer school? That just dawned on me. Didn't she say she had tryouts? Why would you try out in summer school? <laughs> well, like, sports continues on. I feel like he's the type of character we're not going to get any backstory with. He's just odd. And that just makes him an easy target, I suppose. He's a teenage boy talking to a hot girl. Teenage girl. In this scenario, there's no no. From his point of view. If he actually says no. They bonding off parents dying? God damn. They need to find a new hideout, yo. Like base of operations. That's supportive parents right there. <laughs> they smelling furniture? 
such an awkward scene, you know? It's great dialogue in the scene, though. What kind of water? This is a bougie family, especially with what goes inside their body. They bonding. <laughs> Who opens a book like that? Oh, it's a map. <laughs> it's like Skull Island. <laughs> Where's Rick getting the money to feel, feed Grundy? The Fiddler? House of Secrets. You forgot this, this dude whooped your ass? <laughs> I knew he's a good guy, kinda. Anti-hero vibes. He's gone. He's not? Man, that would have been such a dope out. Oh, they just wanted to show him use his power. I think she gonna do terribly. She's been stressed all day. Oh, she happy now. Hell with the super throws. Damn, is he about to torture Artemis? Damn. She's just hitting people. I guess that goes the scholarship. <laughs> Seeing bad guys be good parents is weird. <laughs> you should be scared, y'all. Another recruitment done. What do you want? Why keep important information to her daughter about their other life? What did the JSA do? Fill us in. Does he still not remember her? Is he Doctor Midnight? He's an AI now. So many questions. Oh, he's not an AI. He's just talking through the classes. He's in the Shadow Realm? Yo, we going full Yu-Gi-Oh now? <laughs> Not a phenomenal episode. It's getting very, very interesting now. Now it's about character. Like, just because you're bad doesn't mean you're evil. Like seeing bad guys who are willing to kill you be great parents. Like seeing the shade who's willing to kill certain type of people protect you. Interesting conundrum they have on their hands. What another phenomenal episode. Big ups. More people should be watching the show. I don't feel like it's talked enough. It's talked about enough. God damn, look at my face. It's so bright because of this ring light. I just rhymed. Mistaken. <laughs> but another phenomenal episode. I hope Checha comes, dog. I don't think she has an older sister, though. They would have brought up the fact that she has an older sister way long ago if she did have an older sister, which sucks. But it is what it is. I'm still enjoying the show for what it is. Stargirl is going to work with Shade, it seems. Everybody has their secrets this season, essentially. Got parents divorcing. We got people... Dealing with PTSD for killing Brainwave. We got Solomon Grandi as a pet. <laughs> we got uh, Eclipso and the JSA secrets. Starman also hasn't shown up for a while. Wonder where that's going to go. But anyway, really enjoying the show. Uh, deuces.